Hello, Parkside families. Welcome to the Zones of Regulation Lessons Continued. Today, Ms. Houston and I are going to talk about expected and unexpected behavior. But first, we want to review the zones. Ms. Houston will start. We're going to play a game. Let's talk about the blue zone. All right, in the blue zone, <clears throat> When we're in this zone, we feel bored, we feel sad, we feel sick, we feel tired, we're moving kind of slowly. Those are the ways that we feel during this zone. The green zone is we feel happy, we're ready to learn, we might smile at each other, we're talking in a calm voice, our bodies are sitting in our desks tall, looking at the teacher, and our hands are to ourselves. In the yellow zone, that's where we start to lose a little bit of control. We start to get excited or worried or silly. We kind of feel frustrated. Our body starts to feel just a little bit like it's wiggly or movie, and we need to figure out what we need to do to get us back to the green zone. In the red zone, we have lost control of our body. There are times when we're in the red zone and it could be a good thing. Like if I won the lottery, I will be very excited and I'll jump up and down. There are other times when I might get really angry um, and lose control of my body. If you can see the guy from screaming with a fire on top of his hair, it just makes other people feel uncomfortable around you. And part of being having others feel uncomfortable is dealing with expected and unexpected behaviors. So today we're going to continue by talking about what it means when we show expected and unexpected behaviors at Parkside. So expected behaviors are behaviors that give the people around you good or comfortable thoughts. They are the behaviors that we follow when we do the rules, when we're in the classroom and we're listening to our teacher and we're sitting up tall, doing what she asks us to do, following directions, being kind to others, sharing. Those are all the things that are expected behaviors because they make ourselves and others feel comfortable. Unexpected behaviors give people uncomfortable feelings. You might notice this if someone touches you or gets too close to your bubble. They might be screaming in the classroom, or you might see people running through the halls. We don't expect those things at Parkside. So let's go ahead and we're going to play a game talking about the expected and unexpected behaviors. Question one. We have two girls playing with blocks, Miss Houston. Do those girls like they feel comfortable around each other? Would you say it's expected or unexpected? I would say expected. All right, we'll see how Miss Houston did. Oh, she's right. Moving on to question number two. All right, Miss Sween, these two children don't look like they're getting along very well and they're fighting over a toy and they're tugging and they're pulling. Would you consider that expected or unexpected behavior? I would say it's unexpected. Neither one looks very happy or comfortable with the other. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, I'm right again. All right, Miss Houston, question number three is you. These two girls are pulling each other's hair. Is this expected or unexpected? Ooh, I think their faces are showing me that one is like really in the red zone and the other one is feeling very, very uncomfortable. So I would say it's unexpected behavior. You're right again, Miss Houston. We've got one more question left, number four. All right, this one is yours, Miss Sween. All right. This student is doing an amazing job. The student is sitting there, raising their hand, ready to work, calm body. Would this be expected or unexpected? Oh, I assume people would feel comfortable around him, but what if he's talking while he's raising his hand? If he was talking and raising his hands, I think it would be unexpected. Let's see if that's what they have, because his mouth is open, so maybe he was talking. Oh, try again, Miss Sween. I guess he wasn't talking. He's just really excited to share with the classroom. Oh, so it was the expected behavior. Every now and then we make mistakes, Mrs. Houston. We do, but we just still take a breath and move on, right? So thank you, Parkside families, for playing the game with us. You are all winners in our book, and we hope you continue to watch the Zones of Regulation videos with us at Parkside. Have a great day. Have an amazing week.